Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 American Ninja Warrior runs. Oh, look at him! Look so effortless! Look at him walking on the two and four! He's gonna go for this one upside down! For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most memorable, historic, and just plain skilled runs by athletes on the sports entertainment competition TV series. There are so many runs every year in this competition, so comment below to let us know your favorites. Number 10, Jake Murray, 2016 National Finals, Stage 1. Jake Murray is a competitor with a flair for the dramatic. Whether it's his fashion sense or his tendency to showboat, Murray always stands out from the pack. That's a grown man with a fanny pack on his back. Don't get that fanny pack wet. However, it's not just his antics that make him memorable. He's also a great ninja, frequently posting some of the fastest times on courses he competes on. Such was the case when he ran stage one in Vegas in 2016. And he's just going straight for it. Woo! He is flying! This course has taken out more legendary ninjas than any stage one in history, but Jake Murray's making it look like a walk in the park. While sporting a headband and a fanny pack, Murray blazed through the course and took home the fastest time on that year's first stage. Not only that, he celebrated by taking a corn dog out of the fanny pack, taking a bite, and doing a cannonball. What a legend. Oh, get your catch up ready, because he's all about that business, baby. Number nine, David Campbell. 2017 National Finals, Stage 1. Speaking of legends, one of the longest competing contestants on American Ninja Warrior is David Campbell, whose nickname is The Godfather. This is a guy who once set the standard at American Ninja Warrior. Now many are wondering if the sport has passed him by. However, despite his history in the competition and early successes both at home and abroad, Campbell has had several runs of bad luck on Stage 1 in Vegas in the past. He missed out on advancing to stage two five years in a row. But this run turned all that around. Campbell's rediscovering his confidence here. Godfather running through stage one like a gangster. Although Campbell has a few close calls, he managed to complete the stage and make his long-awaited return. Who doesn't love a good comeback story? David Campbell going back to stage two for the first time in five years. Number eight, Casey Catanzaro. 2014 Dallas City Qualifiers. She's able to get up the warp wall in training. Can't she be the first woman ever to do it in competition? Prior to 2014, female competitors, while still respected, had not yet overcome a literal obstacle to stand shoulder to shoulder with the best of the men, the warped wall. But all that changed with Casey Catanzaro. Her run in the Dallas qualifiers that year blew up the internet, and it's because she managed to ascend the curve wall over twice her height and hit a buzzer, which was the first time any woman had completed a qualifying course. Although her completion of a city finals course not long after was also groundbreaking, this is the run fans and competitors remember most. Every person in here, we just witnessed history right now. Number seven, Brian Arnold, 2013 National Finals, Stage 3. Back in 2013, no American had ever finished the third stage of the Vegas Finals, and only one man had gotten past the tricky ultimate cliffhanger obstacle. Enter Brian Arnold. Man, look at his focus. He successfully makes the first transition. He has a firm grip on those doorknobs and nice shoulder flexibility out of Brian. It allows him to swing comfortably into his dismount. A consistent competitor and rock climber, Arnold reached stage three and managed to not only defeat the cliffhanger, but also complete the next several obstacles, reaching the final obstacle of the stage, the flying bar. Sadly, he fell on the fourth rung, only feet away from completing stage three. While he may have come up short, Arnold was the first to come so close to winning it all at the time. And this crowd, led by his wife, giving him a deserved standing ovation in appreciation of the history they just witnessed. Number six, Jeff Britton, 2015 National Finals, Stage 4. A 75-foot rope climb in under 30 seconds. 
Can he do it? While it was tempting to discuss Isaac Caldiero's run, we ultimately decided on the run that immediately followed his, Jeff Britton's. Britton narrowly managed to beat Stage 3 by holding on to the final platform by the tips of his fingers and competed against Caldiero to reach the top of Mount Midoriyama. Watching Britton power up that tower using his ridiculous forearms to achieve total victory was a huge milestone, as he was the first American to do so in regular competition. He did it! Jeff Britton did it! Oh my goodness! He hit the buzzer! Caldiero may have beaten his time, but Britton still got there first, and with a perfect season, no less. Stage four. Woo! Number five, Daniel Gill, 2018 Dallas City Qualifiers. A competitor known for his luscious locks and extreme speed, Daniel Gill has had plenty of amazingly fast runs throughout his time on the show. But this is arguably his most memorable. Oh, look at him! Look so effortless! Skywalking on the Tony Forks! Daniel oh, Gill goodness. destroying his cars! Gill practically flew through the Dallas qualifying course, finishing the first three obstacles in less than a half a minute, and ultimately got the fastest time of the night. Not only that, but Gill was the first person up the new 18-foot mega warped wall, which earned him 10 grand in the process. He's looking to be the first person to get up this 18-foot mega warped wall and claim $10,000. One shot. Come on. We're not sure which is crazier, the payday or the fact that he'd have been even faster if he hadn't stopped to prepare for the daunting final obstacle. The Kingdom Ninja has earned his crown tonight, dominating this Dallas qualifying course. Number four, Kevin Bull, 2014 Venice Beach City Finals. This stock trader has been a solid ninja ever since he began on American Ninja Warrior. And while he's had some excellent runs since, his debut season featured one of the sport's most memorable runs. Great technique here. You can see the strength for Kevin Bull. And I love the way he attacks each obstacle with such purpose. In the Venice Beach Finals, competitors were falling left and right of the challenging new obstacle, Cannonball Alley. But Bull took an unusual approach, grabbing the final ball with his legs and swinging upside down to dismount. He's going to go for the dismount upside down and down! Oh, That's what I'm talking about! This crazy move paid off both because Bull was one of only two competitors to finish this finals course and because it helped cement him as one of the sport's most creative ninjas. Kevin Bull! Oh! The finals course has finally been conquered. It's a rookie who does it. Kevin Bull! Walk on, baby! Number three, Joe Morofsky, 2017 National Finals, Stage 3. The weatherman Joe Morofsky is one of American Ninja Warrior's most reliable competitors, having never failed to make it to the Vegas Finals since he began and frequently making it to the third stage. One thing about Joe Morofsky is mentally tough. He understands how to operate under pressure. What makes this run particularly notable is that not only was Morowski the last ninja standing, but he also went further than anyone else had on this version of the stage, encountering several new obstacles and tackling them like a pro. Matt, this is impressive. I think guy has got moxie. He may not have made it to stage four yet, but our forecast shows that the weatherman could go all the way. The dream unrealized, and yet the man who makes it farther than anyone in an incredible season nine. Number two, Jesse Graff, 2016 National Finals, Stage One. This stunt woman had made it far in the city finals courses before, but she put on a clinic on Stage One, tackling each obstacle with efficiency. Yes! Wow, Jesse Graff! Wow. And the jumping spider! Boy, she got in there with authority. This includes the warped wall, which only a few women had made it to in Vegas to that point. Can you feel it? Can you feel history in the making here? Jesse Graff then went on to become the first woman ever to complete stage one on the show, paving the way not only for her own future success, but those women who would follow her. Graff is unquestionably one of the strongest American Ninja Warrior competitors, regardless of gender, and this is the run that proved it. She's gonna make history! History! The first one right there to complete stage one, Jesse Graff! Because we had to limit this list to 10, we thought we'd squeeze in a few honorable mentions. So before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Megan Martin, 2014 National Finals, Stage 1. 
the first woman to conquer the jumping spider. Oh, she started! Oh, her feet are I said so! I said so! The first woman ever to mount on the jumping spider! Morimoto Yusuke, USA versus the World 2014 Stage 3. He made it look easy and got robbed of advancing. His time was reportedly actually faster. One leap away! And he's done it! Wow! Yusuke Morimoto making history on American soil! The first athlete ever to complete stage three, and just like that, Team Japan is right back in this competition. Alyssa Beard, 2017 National Finals Stage One. The second woman to complete stage one. And this crowd is on their feet. The elementary school teacher can add her name to the history books. Alyssa Beard, the second woman ever to hit the buzzer on stage one. Brian Kresh, 2019 LA City Finals. One of the original ninjas and one of only two to complete this course. Brian Crutch returning to the top of the city finals tower. And buzzer. Jamie Ron, 2018 national finals stage one. Captain NBC went barefoot and achieved victory. Yeah, take it off there. Take it off. That's what I'm talking about. Look at Stay this. closer to your roots. Well, this would be such a remarkable run if Captain NBC can do it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sam San, 2015 Houston City Finals Nicknamed the Survivor, Sam San may be older than most of the competitors on the show, but he's a top athlete who often trains younger ninjas at his gym. Seven of the 30 competitors who made it to the finals are regulars at Sam San's gym. Although San has struggled at the national finals, his run in the Houston finals is one of the greatest in the sport's history. Can you believe this? Some of our best ninjas couldn't make it past that obstacle, and 48-year-old Sam Sand demolished obstacles that competitors half his age struggled on and became one of only two to complete the whole course that night. Wow! Oh, hit that buzzer! Hit that buzzer! Admired by fans and pro ninjas alike, Sam Sand's Houston run is an all-around classic. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.